and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I said. And I'm sorry for everything I didn't say. I just hope you can rest now, that's all. No worries. Just rest. I know you love me, Damon. I know you stopped loving me. You made that perfectly clear. I just... I couldn't let you go. I'm ready to let you go now if you'll do the same for me. Goodbye, Chrissy. Goodbye, David. Thanks for driving. That's no problem. Well, coming here and saying goodbye will help you some, but only time heals your heart. Okay? Yeah. So it's gonna heal your heart? <sighs> Working too hard? This Redmond deal? You know, when Burke Willis offered me partnership, I said to myself, you've done it. <laughs> you've hit the bullseye. And then one of the most powerful men in the country offers me something bigger than partnership, a chance to be a power player on a global scale. Why? Because you're brilliant. Because he thinks his business associates will want to screw me. So? So? <laughs> yeah, so what? Look, some of your colleagues probably want to screw you right now. Redmond was just bold enough to tell you that might be an asset. Well, that's what scares me, Damon. No, I've worked too hard to get here to compromise like that. I've never batted my eyes to get anything. I'm not going to start now. I didn't hear you say that that's what he asked you to do. No, I guess he didn't. And you, of all people, should know that it doesn't matter why you get what you want, as long as you get it. <laughs> now you sound like me. Hey, hey, hey. Don't let fear keep you from getting what you want, Terry. You're way too smart for that. Joseph, do you remember me? I was here the other night. I need to speak to Mr. Redmond. It's very important. It's a business matter. No, I'm afraid Actually, not. excuse me for one second. Hi. Remember me, Terry Joseph? Yes, of course. <laughs> what can I do for you? I need to speak to Mr. Redmond. Oh, Miss Joseph, Mr. Redmond doesn't receive visitors. He's not expecting. Mr. Jones, please. It's, it's a very important business matter. Mr. Redmond is on a conference call, which he had to take in the middle of hosting a very important party, so I'm sure you can't see him tonight. Mr. Redmond offered me the chance to walk through a door that probably never be open to me again. I really need to talk to him. Uh, Look, haven't you ever done something that you felt silly about? You let fear and pride get in the way? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, my mama used to always tell me that my head was so hard I could smash brick walls with it. <laughs> right now, you are that brick wall. And I know that I can't knock you down, so I am hoping that you will just decide to help me. Why don't you join the party? 
I'll let Mr. Redmond know you're joining us. Thank you. Oh, I should probably give you a heads up about our guests. That would be great. It's a group of Japanese businessmen who are trying to close a deal with the fiber optics firm. <gasps> oh. Mr. Mori, the elder, makes all the final decisions, but the son takes all the credit. Got it. Okay. Here you are, Mr. Right, thank you. It's Joseph. Oh. Huh. I was convinced we had our first and last dealings with each other. I know. But I'd like another chance to make a first impression. Consider it done. Oh, thank you. Let's go meet these folks. I want to shake hands on this deal tonight before the sake dries up and the karaoke gets old. Okay. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to one of my attorneys, Terry Joseph. Hello, Miss Joseph. Hello. Miss Joseph. It is a pleasure. Konbanwa, Yokosu. Wow, she's so beautiful. Easy, son. And more brilliant than she is breathtaking. <laughs> Joseph-san, ka? <laughs> he wants to know if you can sing. Oh. Well, tell him I do now. But only in English. Oh, arigato. You gonna join me? It's your spotlight. Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Not me, I guess. Um. Flame is such a bird. 